Hey guys, it's Ty, bringing you the first of my Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapons Guide series. Now today, I will be going over the Legendary Doll SMG known as the Night Hawken. Now the prefix of this gun may change for you. In my case, it is the Arctic Disciplined Night Hawken. And the red text reads, Stranger Than Things. Now this is a reference to the Stranger Than Things TV show, and that plays a lot into what this gun does. Now since this is a Doll SMG, it is a four shot burst and semi auto in my case now you can farm for one that comes in an automatic version so be on the lookout for that if you want an automatic night hawking now the damage as you see is times three now apparently this gun acts in a day and night cycle if it is daytime you will get a times three damage modifier if it is that nighttime you will get a just base damage so I don't know if that's all the time or not. Uh, it really just feels good anyways, no matter what. Um, now, apparently you can get this gun in a different variation, uh, depending on what time of day you get it to drop. I didn't get this to drop. A friend gave it to me. Uh, it is a Cryo Nighthawking. So if you can get it to drop in a fire, then that would be great. Now I am giving you a 360 turnaround of the gun so you can get a better look on how it looks um, I, Apparently if it is nighttime, it does incinerary damage and if it is daytime, it will do cryo uh, It's a little inconsistent. I would like to say I, I don't really notice it It's just it's at random for me now We are going to Athena's and here I am looking around to see what time of day it is It is daytime and I am getting a times three multiplier now I'm just going to clear out the mobs and we are just going to obliterate everything in our path. Now this SMG is the best SMG in the game in my opinion. It is definitely the best weapon to have on Zane, uh, especially if you are going a Cryo Zane build. Uh, in my case, I am going a Cryo Zane build. I feel like that's the only way you can build him. And this gun, uh, it, it felt really awkward to use any other gun, but this gun just it really puts the icing on the cake for me um, it is so damn good I'm just gonna say it especially uh, those anointed guys that are super tanky this actually makes them far less tanky for some reason it just it just obliterates everything that it it hits even if it isn't supposed to it still does now I, I thought at one point that the incinerary damage came for or from the more you shot it like it was building up heat inside the gun but i i didn't i, I don't know exactly how that works but here uh in a minute or two it will become nighttime and i will start doing some incinerary damage so like i said it's just it's kind of weirdly inconsistent if that makes sense uh I, it's still a beast of an SMG though. Unfortunately, it is a world drop and these guys on YouTube that are saying that it is a confirmed drop from Oh, the sky bully. Oh, you kill this skag in this circle area and you'll get it. Well, oh. no, you, it's a world drop. Do not believe anything else that anybody else says. Uh, if it turns out to be not a world drop and a confirmed drop, then I guess I, I'm wrong and I just shot myself in the foot, but I've seen multiple people get it from multiple bosses as multiple world drops, so uh, it's a world drop. Just just trust me on this. If it turns out to be a confirmed drop, well then there you go. It's a confirmed drop, but it is a world drop it, nonetheless. Uh, now, this paired with Amara would actually be insanely good since she can Ha she has an ability that lets her heal from elemental damage, correct? Um, so if you want to use this gun on Amara, it's really good. Cryo Zane's really good. Um, Flak, anything's good on Flak, honestly. And Moe's, I mean, why not use it on Moe's as well? Uh, it's literally one of the best guns in the game. Now here, I am shooting those fire elemental bullets. I don't know if it's because it is nighttime right now uh i would like to think it is because i don't have a leech on these guys i don't believe so uh, i do check right here to see if it is a 
fire element and the gun did not change at all so it's just a hidden modifier inside the gun because of the red text um, uh, more toward the end of the video I'm gonna show how it sh shoots hip fire like right here uh, I start trying to test out the hip fire and this gun even though it is a doll it is almost as accurate as like a Hyperion SMG surprisingly uh, I've I really there's no downfall to this weapon maybe the magazine size maybe but even then it, it's got such a fast reload and a bunch of the characters have like reload perks or something like that so it just really that's it that's the only drawback to this weapon and it's not even a drawback really um, it just is my it used to be my favorite SMG used to be the bitch from Borderlands 2 and then the pre sequel it was the fatal but it was a cryo version of the bitch let's be honest so this now takes the place as my favorite SMG and it, it just totally annihilates everything. Right here is where I can show you more of the spread. It like it spreads out larger than it actually is shooting the spread. So just, just know that. I did enjoy making this video a lot. And I hope that you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you next time. Later.